Good morning, ladies. So I want to ask you a question. Who are you offended with? Who are you upset with right now at school in your work environment? Is there anybody that you have been upset or offended by? Someone that's made you feel uh, rejected, that they've made you feel upset, that you're uh, displeased with something they did, something they did not do, something they said, something they did not say. Um, think about that because something that we as salt and light, something that we need to constantly do is we need to be checking our love walk. You know, I, I know many of you know and you see me wear maybe I have a lot of the walk in love shirts. I have it on my computer. I have it a lot of places, but do you know why? Because I know it's a value. I know that it's one of the most important things uh, that I can do is to constantly check my heart for am I harboring unforgiveness? Am I harboring grudges? Am I harboring hate? Am I taking on uh, I feel rejected or I feel offended because of, you know, whatever this person said, didn't say, did, didn't do, like I said, all those things. Um, but what I need to do is I need to guard my heart and I need to keep my soul clean from infection. And how I do that is by staying in love and outside of sin. And in Matthew 5, 44, Jesus tells us, uh, he talks about, you know, blessing those who curse you, praying for those people who mistreat you, doing good to those people who treat you like crap. And that's not the message of the world, is it? But that's Jesus's message, and I'm telling you, walking in love, it, it is. It's like one of the main markers of, of telling where someone is really at spiritually because you can say you know a lot of things. You can say, you know, uh, I do a lot of things. But if you are harboring unforgiveness, if you are harboring bitterness, if you are easily offended, then that has got to change. We've got to be on a walk, on a journey in our love walk, and we've got to keep growing deeper in our love walk. So that is something that we always want to be checking up on. So ask yourself right now, again, is there anyone that I'm easily offended with or I'm upset or frustrated by in my workplace? Is there something that, you know, keeps popping into my mind that that person did, that person said, that person didn't do, they didn't say, and then I'm thinking, you know what, I think they meant this, or you know what, that was really hateful, or whatever it is. And then you begin to build these arguments and these strongholds uh, in in your mind uh, that maybe the whole thing didn't even happen, but you're chewing on this thing over and over again. You're taking a bite out of that bait. It's the bait of offense. Uh, John Bevere wrote a book called uh, The Bait of Satan because that's what offense is. Offense is one of the prime tools that the enemy will use to get you off focus because it comes in front of you. You take it and then your eyes are on that thing instead of Jesus walking in love, praying for those people who mistreat you. Uh, love is not keeping records of wrong, right? You're not thinking the worst. You're thinking the best, even if, yeah, maybe they did mean the worst. It doesn't matter. You're choosing to walk in love. So we have got, as, as salt and light, as ladies uh, of salt and light, we've got to treat offense and rejection like a disease, and we've got to stay far away from it. When we have those feelings rise up in us of getting Getting offended, of getting hurt, of, of you know thinking like someone this or that or whatever, immediately we've got to treat that wound. And how do we treat the wound? By putting the medicine on it. And what's the medicine? The Word of God. We put the Word on it, we treat it, and we take care of it right there. And we say, no, I'm going to choose not to be offended. Yes, they hurt me. Yes, what they did was wrong, but I'm not going to chew on it. I'm not going to gossip about it. I'm not going to take this and keep eating at it. It and eating at it uh, because guess what? You know what? You know what we're eating when we do that? We're eating rotten fruit, uh, and we do not want to be doing that because it's not doing anything for us except putting trash inside of our heart and what's inside is going to come out, right? That's why the Bible says guard our hearts for from it flow the wellsprings of life. So what's inside of us is going to come out. So we want to walk in love with our coworkers, walk in love with the people around us and treat people like Jesus would. Even when people are ugly to us, we need to be kind and loving to them. So again, think about how you're doing with this. Think about how you can grow in it. 
me included. Again, this is not a one-time deal every day. Check your love walk and keep walking in love just like Jesus tells us to. And again, we can do it with his help.